Did you know that many people are rocking around with the wrong size shoe? Now over time, that not only can cause sore feet, but it can also create problems like low back pain. Well here at Wallace for Wellness, our resident podorthist Paula Toy helps us to keep our feet happy. Welcome Paula. Thank you. So Paula, can you share with us some tips on how to size our foot so that they're going to fit our shoe wear really well? Sure. So the first thing that I would do is to make sure the heel sits at the back of the Brannock device. So, and um, what we'll see is the heel to toe length and then the heel to ball length, which is very important because you want to make sure the widest part of the foot actually fits in the widest part of the shoe. So you do it seated as well as standing to see how much the foot actually expands. And then we also measure the other side because chances are the other side may be a little bit longer, a little bit wider, or even a little bit shorter, a little bit narrower. Again, seated and then standing. So Paula, now that we have found the right size of our feet, do you have any tips to explain to people when they're actually going to purchase a shoe and how to try them on? Absolutely. One of the main things that I always recommend is a firm heel counter of a shoe. This will actually control the way the heel will actually strike when you're wearing them. So I'll have Jennifer put them on. So one of the first things that I always recommend as well is to kick your heel to the back of the shoe to make sure you're sitting at the back of the shoe where it's supposed to and to lace it up but not too tight. And then what I would have her do is stand up. So I would also check the width of the shoe to make sure that the widest part of the foot is sitting at the widest part of the shoe. And as well to check the length to make sure there's about a thumb width space between the end of the shoe and the end of the toe. And I have her try the other one as well. And that's important, right? To always try both feet because some, one foot could be slightly bigger than the other. That's correct. So one of the things you also do, should do is to try on half a size larger as well, just to, to compare the size and the fit. And again, I will have her stand up, checking to make sure that the width is at the widest part and the length. In this case, you can tell that her left foot is slightly a little bit longer in the shoe. So I would definitely have her try a half a size larger. And also to make sure that you buy footwear at the end of the day when you've actually been on your feet. And then also, I will also have her walk in them to make sure that there's space for her to walk and expand. And of course, Paula, the key also is that the person is comfortable. So after having a consultation with you, you size their foot, they take these tips to the store, put those into use, but ultimately they need to walk and feel comfortable so that they're going to wear them and be happy in them, correct? That's correct. So basically, it's still the the client's suggestion on which one feels more comfortable because most people are between half sizes as well. Right. All right, well thanks so much Paula. As always, such great information and you've heard it here. If you are going shoe shopping, do it at the end of your day because those, sweet get, those feet get swollen and we want to make sure we're getting the right size. So come on over to Wallace for Wellness, see our podorathist and you'll be have happy feet as a result. Mm -hmm.